The following podcast contains mild language. Hello, and thanks for listening to Expat. Follow Expat on Twitter and Instagram at Expat the Show, or find us online at expattheshow.com. And if you like what you hear, please subscribe, share it with your friends, and consider sponsoring us at patreon.com slash Roshni, spelled R-A-C-H-A-N-E-E. And now, enjoy the show. Hey, Patsy, is that my phone or yours? Mine, I think. Wait, let me check. Our cases are too similar. Darn it, I bet it's my client. I can't find my phone anywhere. Not good. I'm pretty sure this one's mine. I'm waiting for Owen to call me back. Hello? Joanna? This is Bianca. Did you get my text messages? I sent you, like, 20. Who is that? Owen or my client? It's for you. Here. You can't just hand it to me. Pretend you're my assistant or something. Hello? Oh, no. This is Patsy. Joanna's assistant. Oh my word. Can you put Joanne on the line then? Uh, yes. Who shall I tell her is calling? Uh, this is Bianca Benson. Uh, soon to be Bianca Santiago. As her assistant, I would think you know that already. Uh, well, let me transfer you. Uh, click. We will be with you shortly. Do 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 Hello, Bianca. Thank you for waiting. Hi, Joanna. Look, darling, you know how I hate to stick my nose in other people's business, but you might want to consider getting a new assistant. Your current one is... She's new. First day on the job. Ah, that explains so much. Anyway, I'm calling about the flowers. It's all good. Your order for 1,000 pink and white striped miniature roses is all set, and the florist has assured me it will be ready on time for Uh, your big day. Yeah, change that. Pink and white is not in. No, no, I, I, I want lavender peonies. And double the order. That's a big change, and so close to the- She just hung up on you? No goodbye? That would be beneath her. No, I've been working on this wedding, the Benton Santiago event, for months, and the bride's just been messaging me off the hook about it. Girl just needs to calm down. Someday when you get married, you'll be just as insane as all your brides. I plan on eloping. Either that or sedate me before the ceremony. (laughs) Got it. So when's the event? If I play my cards right, hopefully in the next five years. I met your client's wedding. Memorial Day weekend. Well, at least you'll have something to occupy you over the holiday. I know, I'm so bummed you'll be gone. First time in roomy history that we can't have our annual Memorial Day cookout. Yeah, Owen wants to take advantage of the long weekend. It's hard to get days off together. If I'm not at some weekend fundraiser for whale hello there, then he has to deal with some out-of-control horse who doesn't understand what day off means. Plus, he got a super sweet deal on the hotel. And I kind of feel like it's a milestone. Our first road trip. First vacation together. Is this Patsy Santos talking to me? Going on a road trip? You who never goes anywhere? Who thinks that a trip to the Grove is considered an exotic vacation? Who are you? What have you done with my roommate? I don't know. It might be fun. Where are you guys going to go? Somewhere within driving distance. San Francisco, I think. Good luck with driving. Everyone's going to be headed out of town for the holiday. You'll be sitting in traffic for a long time. I guess we could fly instead. But Owen really, really wants to do a road trip, ever since he's seen them in American movies. Road trips can be fun. (laughs) The move from Michigan to here was enough for me. I got caught in a snowstorm in New Mexico and had to dig myself out. I was stuck for hours. That sucks. But at least you don't have to worry about snow over Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, there's just a bazillion other things that could go wrong. Your phone. It's Bianca again. And finally, don't forget we have a holiday coming up. So make sure you're caught up with any projects before then, especially since the fiscal year ends shortly after we get back. Okay, team. Good meeting. Go out there and save the whales. I cannot wait for that long weekend. I feel like we've just been going nonstop lately. I'm just going to stay home and do nothing. How about you, Devin? (sighs) Oh, that's a cool idea. I'll suggest that to Matt for our next weekend away. What about you, Patsy? Oh, that's right. You and Joe usually have a cookout. Not this year. Owen and I are headed to San Francisco. Hey, guys. Don't you want to know what my plans are for the holiday? 
No. Not really. It's gonna be super fun. You're gonna wish you were part of it. You're feeling jealous already, Peter. Have you ever been to San Francisco? No, is it nice? It's a very cool city. Lots of history, lots of things to do. Chinatown there is famous. It's a very hilly place, though. Bring comfy shoes, you'll be doing a lot of walking. <sighs> I hadn't thought of that. Thanks, Devin. <sighs> oh, you guys will have fun. Is this your first time traveling together? Yeah. Ooh, a relationship milestone. I remember when Matt and I traveled for the first time. Did anything go wrong? Oh, no. We had a great time in Hawaii and blissed down on the beach with our Mai Tais. Oh. Well, I'm a little nervous. It could be a make-it-or-break-it weekend. Don't be worried. Just enjoy your time away from La La Land. Eat a lot of dim sum for me. The clam chowder is amazing, especially if you get it in a bread bowl. Oh, and don't forget the chocolate at Ghirardelli. I think I just gained ten pounds from hearing you talk. Don't worry. With all the walking you'll be doing, you won't even feel it. Hey, honey, you're home. Hey, Joe. Oh, did you get the mail? No, it completely slipped my mind. But I can go check. I'm expecting the last payment from that BS wedding. There's no need for language. Those are their initials, and BS is literally avoiding cursing. Oh, true. Well, don't worry about it. I'll go get the mail. Hello, this is Joanna. Joe... Can you come down here and help me? Patsy, what's wrong? I tripped on the stairs. My ankle hurts. I can barely stand on it. I'm coming right down. I don't think I've ever seen an ankle swollen that big. A watermelon is smaller than that. It's a sprain, all right. But the doctor says it's not too bad, just a mild one. He said if I stay off it for a few weeks, it should be fine. Ouch. Maybe we should cancel the trip. No way! I'll be fine. I'm going to borrow some crutches from Alyssa, and by the time we go, I'm practically healed. And we've been really looking forward to getting out of town. It would be a shame not to go. If you're sure. I'd rather you rest up and feel better. I'm fine. Look. Watch me. Ow. Thanks, Alyssa. You're a lifesaver. Happy to help. I'm just glad I still have these crutches in the closet. I've been meaning to Marie Kondo them since they definitely do not spark joy. That sprain looks worse than the picture you texted me. How did you even get to work today? Joe dropped me off and helped me into the building. I'll probably Uber home. Don't even think about it. I can drive you. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Here, let me adjust the height for you. Wow. Patsy, you okay? I will be, Kristoff. In a few months. The doctor said to take it easy for about eight weeks or so. Ouch. Well, if you need some time off, or just want to work from home... Actually, that would be great. Driving is kind of tough for me right now, but I could totally telecommute for a while until this heals up. Patsy, if you're too injured to work, I will gladly take over all of your grants. Dream on, Peter. There. I think these will work for you, Patsy. Try it out. Tell you what, Patsy. Take the rest of the day off, just go home, heal up, and work from home for the next few weeks. Thanks, boss. Got a way to get home? Me. And I can carry her files down to the car. Terrific. Feel better, Patsy. And Alyssa, why don't you just work from home today, too, instead of coming back in? No sense in battling traffic just for a few more hours in the office. Thanks, Kristoff. That's really great. See you two later. Hey, can I work from home today, too? No. With two people out of the office, I'll really need you to pick up some of the slack. Oh, man. Get well soon, Patsy. Wow, thanks, Peter. That's so sweet of you. I don't want to have to do all the work by myself. Oh, well, that's less sweet. Well, bye, everyone. See you in a few weeks. <sighs> you said it, Devin. Well, I think that's everything. You know you're only going away for four days, right, Patsy? I know, but I need all this stuff. I get the suitcase. I get the purse. I even get a bag of snacks. But three bags of food plus a cooler? Are you camping in the middle of nowhere? It's how my family always road tripped when I was a kid. Bring a ton of food so you can save money on the road. Besides, San Francisco is expensive. Poor Owen. He's going to have to carry all this plus whatever he's bringing. I can carry my things. You can barely use your crutches. 
Hey, Owen, come on in. Hey, Joe, Patsy. Pats, you ready to go? I sure am. Are you guys moving out? No, what makes you think that? There are just so many bags lying around. Oh, that's for our trip. Whoa, Patsy, how much are you bringing? Not much. Five bags? And a cooler. What's in all these? Food for the trip. You know we're going to San Francisco, right? It's a big city. It has restaurants and grocery stores and cafes and other various places to buy food. You will be happy when we're in the car and you're hungry and you want to snack. Sure. I'll start bringing the bags down. I can help. I think you should just sit down on the couch there. Stay still. But... No. I don't want to carry all of the bags and you, which I will have to do if you re-injure yourself. Fine. It's not too late to cancel. We can have a quiet weekend here. You'd be comfortable. No, we need to do this. We need to? Yes, we do. Trust me. Okay then. I'll go load the car. Owen really is a sweetheart, the way he puts up with your quirks. Joe, you think we'll have a good trip? You guys will have a wonderful trip. It will bring you closer together and you'll look back on this weekend with fond memories. I hope so. But it is a milestone in our relationship. I just really want things to go right. Don't worry so much. Car's all packed. Literally. It took me a bit of time to reorganize it. You got all of that to fit in your trunk? I'm impressed. I'll have to put the cooler in the back seat, but everything else fit. Well, here we go. I'll see you in a few days, Joe. You guys have a great trip. Thanks, Joe. Good luck with the BS wedding. I don't think you should refer to an upcoming wedding like that. Weddings are supposed to be happy occasions. It's the initials of the... Oh, never mind. I just can't wait until it's over. Usually I enjoy planning weddings, but this one has been an eight-month headache. It'll be great. We'll celebrate it being over when I get back. Can't wait. Do I have everything? Wallet, keys, phone. Where's my phone? Oh, here it is. See you later, Joe. Bye, Joanna. Drive safe, you crazy kids. Woohoo! Here we go. We are going on a trip. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't cancel. You're right, this will be fun. They say you learn a lot about compatibility when you travel as a couple. What do you like on a road trip? Oh, pretty chill. What about you? Same. I love road trips because you always get into such interesting conversations with whomever you're with. What's been your favorite road trip? When I was a kid, we took a cross-country trip all the way to Yosemite. We had just bought a new minivan, so my sister and I each took one of the benches for ourselves. Cut down on the whole, she's in my spot stuff. My dad hooked up a TV and the Nintendo so we could play video games while he was driving. Best road trip ever. That does sound like fun. Did your family do road trips? Ireland's a lot smaller than the US. Did you ever do multi-day trips like we did? Not really. We would just go somewhere a few hours away. But it seemed like on every road trip we did, we would end up getting lost for an hour or so. And my father was too stubborn to ask for directions. I always thought that was an American thing. Glad to hear it's an international dad thing. Some things happen in every country and every culture. It must have been fun traveling with such a big family. It had its moments. <laughs> America really is beautiful. There's so much great scenery when you're driving. That's why I want you to do a cross-country road trip sometime. Maybe we could plan that for later in the year. Mm. I could really use something to drink. You were smart, Patsy, bringing all that food. Could you grab me a soda from the cooler? Patsy? Hey, Patsy. Oh. Okay, then. Huh? What? Where are we? We're just stopping for some food. I'm hungry. Why didn't you eat any of the snacks I brought? I can't reach them, and you were knocked out. I tried to wake you up, but you weren't having any of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll do better on the next leg of the trip. Do you want me to drive? With that ankle? No. Just thought I'd offer. Just keep me company on the next part of the drive and we'll be fine. Can do. That was a great lunch. Good choice, Owen. Glad you liked it. All settled in. Yep. Seatbelts on, ankles propped, and I am wide awake. We are going to have some super great conversations. Best part of a road trip. Should I turn on some music? Or I have some audiobooks downloaded on my phone. I'm more of an NPR guy. I can't handle talk radio while I'm driving. It numbs my mind. 
I like music, preferably something I can sing along to. We can hold off on the music for now. I liked hearing about your childhood. Where else did your family go on vacation? Patsy? <laughs> Patsy! <laughs> Jesus. Hmm. What? Are we there yet? Yes, we're at our hotel. Oh, wow. I completely missed when we drove into San Francisco? Yes. I thought I only slept for like 30 minutes. You were awake for 30 minutes. Then you completely knocked out, just like last time. I'm sorry. I really thought I could stay awake this time. I was hoping you could too. You don't seem to have this problem back in LA. Well, we really haven't gone anywhere that's more than 30 minutes away. Good point. Are you narcoleptic? I don't think so. If I said yes, would that make you feel better? Yes. Okay then, let's go with that. I'll go check us in and bring the bags to the room, and then let's go explore the city. Sounds good to me. I'm exhausted. It's not like we got up early or anything. It's because everywhere we turn, there's another freaking hill. There's no good way to do this. Either Owen parks wherever he can and it takes me forever to crutch to our destination, or he drops me off and then drives around forever trying to find parking. While I love spending time with Owen, I can't wait until this so-called vacation is over. How are you enjoying San Francisco, Patsy? It's lovely, Owen. This is such a fun trip. I'm glad you're having a good time. I was worried that with your ankle you just want to go home. No, I would never want to cut this short. You're a real trooper, Pats. Thanks, Owen. You hungry? I know I could eat. Food sounds good. Where should we go? Chinatown? Everyone says it's a must-see in San Francisco. Or Knob Hill if you want something fancier. I guess it doesn't matter. Both are super hilly, right? It's one of those things the city is known for. Unfortunately. Okay, let's go. Which one? One hill is pretty much the same as the other. Surprise me. Who's calling you while you're on vacation? Who's calling, period? Everyone I know texts these days. Well, that's weird. Why does it say I'm calling myself? Hello? Patsy, thank God I finally got a hold of you. Did you see my messages? I've been texting you non-stop, but since you weren't picking up, I thought I should just call. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but didn't you notice? Notice what? You have my phone! I realized that early this morning when I woke up after having a good night's sleep uninterrupted by Bianca's constant texting. Oh no, I honestly didn't notice. The phone's been in my bag all day, and since my hands are full with my crutches, I haven't bothered to check it at all. When do you guys get back? Not for another two days. Damn. The wedding is tomorrow. And I need my phone. It has the wedding agenda and all my contacts on it. It's my lifeline during an event. Oh, Joe, I'm sorry. What's wrong? Is Joe okay? Hold on, Joe. Joe's fine, but we switched phones, and she needs it for her event tomorrow. Um, that's not good. But it's okay. We'll just drive it back to her tonight. Are you sure? I mean, we just got here. Here, give me the phone. Joe, it's Owen. Don't worry, we'll come home tonight and make sure you have your phone for tomorrow. Really? I know you guys are on vacation, but if you don't mind... No to butter. Thank you. You guys are the best. We'll see you when we get back then. Bye. Bye. Oh, Owen. Thank you for being willing to do that. But I feel bad since it is our first vacation together and all. It sucks to cut it short, but honestly, I feel bad being here with you being on crutches. I can tell it's rough for you. I thought I was hiding it so well. Your constant sighing made me wonder, but it was when you started beating the trash can with your crutches that made me think you were frustrated. I didn't think you saw that. That's what rearview mirrors are for. I'm sorry. It really is a beautiful city, and it's a really great trip. Or it would be if my ankle wasn't sprained. We can always come back when you're well. It's not that far from L.A. That would be fun. Shall we do dinner before we leave the city? That sounds great. Hills and all. Are we there yet? You asked me that three hours ago, and no. With this traffic, we might as well just sleep on the side of the road. Maybe it would clear up by then. Somehow I doubt it. I should let Jo know what's going on. She's probably frantic. Mm. Hello? Jo, sorry to wake you. Patsy? I tried to stay up as long as I could. Where are you? I thought you'd be home hours ago. Well, traffic's been horrible since we left San Francisco, but we should be home around 2 a.m., I hope. I can just leave your phone on the kitchen table for you. 
That would be great, but I'm not at home. I got a room at the hotel where the wedding will be. It, it's a 10 a.m. wedding. I'll be up around 5. Oh, that sucks. Joel, why don't you text Patsy the hotel's address? We can drop it off before I take her home. Oh, hello, speakerphone. You sure, Oh, That's really great of you. Yeah, we'll just leave it at the front desk for you. Terrific. I'll text you right now. And thanks. Not a butter. Get some sleep. Bye. Joe just sent the address. It's not too far from the apartment, about 20 minutes away. I can't think of anything more maddening than traffic. It would be nice if we could go a little faster, say 20 miles an hour instead of two. How far out are we anyway? Not sure. Maybe another two or three hours? If we were actually going the speed limit. How are you doing? Wrecked. Just sitting in traffic like this is draining. Seriously, let's just pull off the road for a bit. Take a quick nap. Might as well. All settled? Yep. You're comfortable. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't forget to set an alarm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Night. Night. (gasps) Owen! Owen, wake up! Mm. What? Owen, it's after eight! We overslept! I thought you set an alarm! I did! But the phone died! I blame it on Bianca. I think the overuse literally blew up Joe's phone. We should have set your phone alarm, too. (sighs) Too late now. Let's get going. Where are my keys? Uh, oh, here. Go, go. Thank God we made it. Where is it? Where is it? Can I help you, ma'am? Where is it? We're looking for the BS wedding. I mean the Benton Santiago wedding. Oh, yes. That event is in the garden courtyard. Down the hall, through the door, and on the right. Thank you! Slow down, Patsy. You'll hurt yourself. Damn, you're getting good on those crutches. Patsy, wait! We can't just crash a wedding looking like... And you need to move four inches to the left. You're standing in my light. And who invited the homeless people? Hey, just because we slept in the car last night doesn't mean we're homeless. Bianca, I'll take care of this. It's just Patsy, my assistant. Fine, then! You! There, Joanna's assistant, move that tall vase of peonies to the other side of the room where the sunlight is hitting the table. I'm not actually, and I'm kind of on crutches. Joanna, I want the string quartet ready to restart the wedding march in about ten minutes. This mess should be figured out by then. I hope, oh my god, you're a draw. Can you just move over the four freaking inches? You are the worst maid of honor ever. (laughs) Patsy, Owen, thank you so much for coming. What's going on? The wedding is starting over. Bianca is having a bit of a meltdown up there. We can tell. No. 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 I said four inches, not four and a half. Now you've upset the entire balance for the bridesmaid's row. (laughs) Fine. Fine. It looks better without you anyway. Stupid maid of honor. Sam, you really should disown your sister for being such an idiot. Anyway, now the rows are uneven. Can you get rid of one of your groomsmen? men? Bianca, forget it. It's over. No, it's not over, Sam. We'll figure this out, and then we'll restart, and the wedding will be perfect. No, I mean it's over. Between us, I don't want to marry you anymore. What? You can't break up with me on my wedding day? Yes. Yes, I can. Everyone, I'm sorry we're not getting married today, but thank you for coming. Have a safe triple. Did she pay you yet, Joe? Yeah, she gave me my last check this morning. Good. Oh, here's your phone. Thanks. But I guess it's not so urgent anymore since there won't be a wedding. Are you kidding? It's even more urgent. Cash that check now before she stops payment. 
Hey, Patsy. Thanks for inviting us to your party. Hey, Alyssa. Matt. So glad you guys could make it. I know it was super last minute. I thought you were out of town, but you decided to have your Memorial Day cookout anyway? It is a yearly tradition. But yeah, Owen and I were in San Francisco and had to come back early. Long story. Can't wait to hear it. But wow, what a turnout. Yeah, it's a bit crowded, isn't it? Can't even turn around, let alone move across the room. Who are all these people? I'm not sure, actually. You're not sure? Joe was working a wedding this weekend that got canceled. So the groom offered to let Joe take the reception food home, since it was already paid for and he didn't want it to go to waste. I think he felt bad because the bride threw the cake at him and Joe tried to intervene and it hit her instead. Wait, what? But it's a lot of food, so Joe and I decided to have our Memorial Day party and invite all the guests from the wedding. Uh, you didn't invite the bride, did you? No, she got arrested after she started breaking all the hotel's dishes. We are in the wrong line of work. Nothing that exciting ever happens at Whale Hello there. Hello? Joanna? Ha! Joanna, this is Bianca Benson. How did I end up with Joe's phone again? We should never have bought matching bestie phone cases. I'm sorry, this is Patsy, not Joanna. We mixed up our phones again. Patsy? The incompetent assistant and the homeless person that crashed my wedding? Yes, and kind of? Get Joanna right away. I'm only allowed one phone call and I need her to... Oops. My finger just slipped and hung up on her in an accidental but extremely satisfying way. You don't feel bad leaving that poor, helpless, and obviously uber-privileged woman in jail the day after she was callously dumped on her wedding day? Nah. Did you try the caviar? You've been listening to Expat, directed by Amanda Sunshine, written by Roshni Lamino, produced by Roshni Lamino and Amanda Sunshine, featuring the voice talents of, in alphabetical order, Paula Dimming as Alyssa, Jerry Fisher as Kristoff, Kurt Andrew Hansen as Devin and Sam Santiago, Catherine Kaluki as Bianca Benson, Emma Lieberman as Joanna, Roshni Lamino as Patsy, Derek Petropoulos as Peter and the Concierge, and Mark McLean Wilson as Owen. Accent coaching by Michael Lynch. Sound recording by Zach Ducidow. Script supervision by Ryan Colgrove. Editing and music by Roshni Lamino. All sound effects from freesound.org. Special thanks to Jamie Jessup, Lana, and Riley. Check us out online at expattheshow.com. And thanks for listening. <laughs>